Forwards to Reed and Grace, I think, is the Dulles selection from the paddock and on paper. Only Philly in the field. Let's head over to Richard. Yeah, she's well back late on as well as Davina Grace. As they leave the stalls, and Davina Grace is fastest out and emerges with the early lead from Mountain Road. Struth races in third. Knightswood is keen on the inside. The early pace is not a strong one. Back in fifth place is Wise Eagle towards the outside of Max Mayhem. And then a couple of lengths back to Iron Lion. And last of all is Melek Al Ri. So making their way through these first couple of furlongs, Davina Grace, Callum Shepherd just trying to hold on to her at the moment. She leads by a length or so from in second race is Struth. In third is Mountain Road as they're making their way towards the final mile. In fourth place is Knightswood in the blue and white hoops just ahead of Wise Eagle. Then Max Mayhem, the grey is Iron Lion. And last of all is Melek Al Ri. So continue their progress down the back straight. And if Callum can keep it over 13 seconds a furlong, being quite an easy time, but the wind at the moment is at their backs. So it's Davina Grace leading by a length. Struth is in second place. In third is Mountain Road in the pink and blue checks on the outside of Knightswood. Then in fifth place is Wise Eagle, who races on the outer of Max Mayhem, and still the last two are Iron Lion and last of all Melek Al Ri. So continuing their progress, and they'll shortly leave the back straight. Struth just keeping Davina Grace honest on the front end. There's half a length now between the pair. Racing in third is Knightswood. Fourth now for Mountain Road, who's about a neck further back. Fifth for Max Mayhem as they make the turn. Wise Eagle in the red colours races in sixth with Iron Lion the grey. And last of all is Melek Al Ri. So Davina Grace still just being held on to. Will shortly face the breeze as they turn into the straight with Struth the neck away. Mountain Road and Knights with the next two. Behind these in fifth place is Wise Eagle. And now they're making their way up the home straight. The last two, Iron Lion and Melek Al Ri. So half a mile to travel. Davina Grace still has the lead. Struth in the noseband in second place about three quarters of a length away. Mountain Road on the outside of Knightswood. Then Wise Eagle, Iron Lion, the grey horse moving up the center of the race course as now Davina Grace but Callum Shepherd is asked to try and stretch he's pressed immediately by Struth these two still have the lead though from Mountain Road Knightswood and then Wise Eagle down the outside so Struth has narrowly headed Davina Grace who's still battling away towards the inside Iron Lion the grey down the outside for Jamie Spencer sweeps over the top hangs to the left causes a bit of trouble for Knightswood in behind but Iron Lion has the lead Max Mayhem in the yellow cap is another one who's finishing off to decent effect back in fourth but out in the lead it is Iron Lion who swooped to conquer. Iron Lion it is by a length. Knightswood who was involved in that little bit of scrimmaging in second place in third is Struth. Davina Grace the one pace then Max Mayhem who stayed on. Mountain Road Wise Eagle has one from the back of Melakal Re. Well, Iron Lion came with a sweeping run down the outside to win for the Elwick start. Jamie Spencer and David O'Mara, but did shift to the left when beginning the move, and one of those that was caught up in the backwash was Knightswood, who actually rallied to decent effect in second place. The distance between them means it's highly unlikely at the line that anything will be done, but uh, certainly Knightswood was somewhat inconvenienced by that. Struth third, Davina Grace in fourth could only find the one pace, but Iron Lion it is, who won the race, son of Roaring Lion, as I say, it was a sniff interfer interference there, just as he was moving to make his race winning move. We'll have a look at that, play it back and see the head on whether there was any interference or not. He definitely did come with a good sweeping run on what we think is the jockey's birthday. Yeah, we're not quite sure whether it's Jamie's birthday, but if it is, a nice birthday winner for him. And he's the perfect kind of rider, isn't he, for a horse like this, Jason, who likes to creep into it. He's gorgeous. He's really filled into himself over the winter. And even though he's got that lovely, big, galloping high knee action, he hasn't, mound, uh, hasn't minded the uh, the quicker surface today. He's got a beautiful pedigree. I was just having a look at his, his dam. She's... Um, related to Journey, Indigo Girl, Mimic you, so really nice pedigree. Spencer keeping it tight, Joe Fanning was hoping to get a little bit of gap there, but he got absolutely no love whatsoever, but thankfully that horse hasn't had to stop, the horses in behind and the jockeys haven't had to stop, so he was clear when drifting across and um, kept it nice and tight for the horse down on the inside who's rattled home so i think he'd be absolutely fine and yeah maybe that seven mil of rain overnight has helped him a touch let's hear from we think the birthday boy with ollie yeah i believe it is a birthday winner for jamie spencer is it your birthday today yeah unfortunately <laughs> happy <laughs> birthday i've been under attack all day <laughs> from who friends with pictures down 
<laughs> Ideal. <laughs> Where can we see them? Uh, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, we'll dig them out. Um, but more importantly, this was a good performance from this lad. Yeah, very pleased that the ring came overnight. Um, he was very impressive with Donny and he was back to that form today. Cruised through the race, probably got there even sooner than ideal because he got down to the radio. His inside ear pricked and he was he was waiting on the others. He's a nice horse and so mile and six wouldn't be a problem to him either. Uh, Richard was just mentioning and the, the, the team on the podium just drifted in late on and um, might have caused a bit of interference. Yeah, he was, as, you, as I said to you, his ear, one ear pricked, waiting, pulling up when he got, when he got there. But he won easy. Yeah, birthday party plan tonight? Home. <laughs> well, done. <laughs> well done. And Jamie Spencer teaming up with an old friend later on here at Haydock. But well done also to Mohammed uh, leading him in there for the Omara stable. And yeah, nice win for Elwick Stud now under the care of Nick Turnbull, son of the late Jeff Turnbull. 11 to 2, uh, Iron Lion went off. Knightswood also the same price and Struth in for third at five to one. Actually, ran quite well, didn't he, Struth? <laughs> it would be, wouldn't he, when we don't tip him? <laughs>